I'm just proud to be here. Well, here it is, first day of spring, and I'm still unsprung. <laughs> this is the time of the year when the fellers and the weather gets balmy together. <laughs> I was back there just now talking to old Rod Brassfield. He's even gotten frisky. He was the... Uh, talking about the, my new spring dress I've got on And I asked him how he liked it And he said, okay, but says Don't it seem like it fits a little too soon in some spots I says, why, Rodley, what are you talking about? The lady that sold me this said that it was a perfect fit He said, I'll go a one better It's a perfect convulsion <laughs> That rod, that rod I'll always have a soft spot in my head for Rodley Well, so I want all y'all to gather around I've just found out something I think y'all ought to know I found out something I never knowed before. I was reading it in a book where they say that girls that lisp are best at kissing. That's right. Sure enough, I read in a book that if a girl has got a lisp, well, she can kiss better than other girls. Seems sort of silly, but I'm sure it's so. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's true. <laughs> well, so here I am, fit as a fiddle and ready for love. Here you are, Minnie. Here's your fiddle. Oh! <laughs> I don't want no fiddle. I want a bow. <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> Red, are you... Red Foley, are you ready to help me with some questions from a question and answer column in the Grinder Switch Gazette? I sure am, Minnie. Here's the first one. It says, Dear Minnie Pearl, my boyfriend just confessed to me that he's not true to me. He said that... Last week, he kissed three other girls, and this week, he's kissed five other girls. Should I forgive him because he was honest and confessed to me, and it's signed, Frantic? Dear Fanny, that guy wasn't confessing. He was bragging. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, here's what here, Minnie. It says, Dear Minnie, I just bought some perfume that's supposed to make the men crazy for me. And one is called Sin Sin, another one called Naughty Naughty, and one is called Love Me. Which perfume should I use? It's signed Drisella. Dear Driz, <laughs> pour them all on and get set for the stampede. <laughs> Says, uh, Dear Minnie, my husband is so nervous he keeps biting his fingernails. What can I do to keep him from biting his nails? And it's signed Pocahontas. Dear Pokey, hide his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> here, here's, a, here's a real problem for you right here. It says, Dear Minnie, we have just uh, we have just had our 14th young'un. 14? Yes. Oh. And we seem to have run out of names. What do you think we ought to call it? And it's signed Sam. Dear Sam, how about calling it quits? <laughs> For helping me out, Redley. And now with the news of Grinder Switch, I'm happy to report that Chief Jones finally got rid of that awful noise that was coming from the back of his car. His wife lost her voice. <laughs> he said she's got laryngitis so bad she can't drive above a whisper. <laughs> his mother-in-law just worried Seep to death. Uncle Nate Bob was over there last week, and he says to Seep, he says, what's eating that woman? Seep says, I don't know, but I guarantee you, to you it'll get indigestion. <laughs> Well, so Uncle Nate Bob was over the house uh, just last night, and we was all sitting out on the front porch. It's warm down there at the suite. And we was all sitting out on the front porch, just kind of enjoying one another's company. And Uncle Nate Bob got to talking about the high cost of living. He said, I'll tell you right now, it's just plumb scandalous how high everything is. He says, why, even right now, it's awful the price you have to pay for the necessities of life. And then sometimes it ain't fit to drink. <laughs> But uh, Lizzie Tinkham, she's an old maid at Grinder Switch, and she's getting on in years, so she went to the preacher the other day, and she says, I want to plan my funeral before I die. I want it just like I want it. So the parson, he says to her, he says, well, how do you want the funeral did? She says, well, now, I want the such and such a hymn, and I want everything handled such and such a way, and I want one thing. I want all women Paul Burr. He says, well, that's an odd kind of a request. Why do you want all women Paul Burr's? She says, well, if these fellas around here can't take me out while I'm alive, I don't want them taking me out when I'm dead. 